In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your old scope and fit a new Razer HD Gen 2 and bubble level. I'm going to go through the entire fitting process and leveling process. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove the ring mounts. So I'm just going to get out my torque driver and I've got a T20 bit in the end. Just going to up the torque and then take out the bolts. With the bolts loosened off, I can just take off the top of the ring mounts and then gently remove the scope. Time to swap out the bit. So I'm going to put in a three millimeter Allen key and then we can remove the bubble level. Once we've removed the bubble level, we can just put that to one side and then swap the scopes. And then we need to fit the bubble level to our new scope. So as you can see, I'm fitting the bottom bolt first. And once I've done that, I'll spin it around and then put the bolt in on the top. Just makes it easier to do. So I'm not going to tighten it all the way up. I'm going to leave it relatively loose. Once that's in place, we we'll then put that on the bottom mounts and just make sure the bubble level is round near the top. We can then fit the top of the ring mounts. So I'm just going to place them on gently. Using the T20 bit of my Torx screwdriver, I loosely tighten all the bolts on the scope rings. And I do this in a diagonal pattern. I still want the scope to be able to move at the end of this. I now need to set my eye relief, so I get down behind the rifle and I zoom all the way into the max setting. I then use the scope leveling tool just to make sure that the reticle is going to be level with the rifle. Just place them in there underneath the main body of the scope. And I push the scope slightly forwards. Get back down behind the rifle. Once you're down behind your rifle, slide your new scope all the way forward in the scope rings. And then once you're looking through the scope, slowly slide the scope back towards your face until you have a full field of view. Once you've got a full field of view, then you know that you have now set the correct eye relief. The leveling tool will ensure that this scope remains level to the rifle. just squeezing it here just to make sure it's tight and then making sure I've got 18 inch pounds set on my torque driver I'm then going to do up all of the bolts in sequence on the scope rings using the diagonal pattern this ensures that all of the bolts are torqued correctly once they're all set I then remove my leveling tool I can then stow that away once that's away I then get out my tool from my scope box just to loosen off my turret cap. This is going to give me a nice flat surface for my spirit level. So my spirit level, as you can see, the bubble is nice and central. The rifle has already been leveled. I just didn't show that process, sorry. There you go, just do up the, the bottom of the bubble level. And then the tricky bit here is just making sure that the rifle stays level whilst you're doing up the, uh, the bubble level on the scope. Quite a fiddly little job this. Once that's set, again I tighten this using a 3mm Allen key on my uh, screwdriver and I set that to 18 inch pounds. And that is it all set up nice. Just going to put the scope cap back on and then tighten it. And then that's us all set up, all good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel.